You question the member from Park Hill High Park. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing. Speaker, last week, a group led by the Centre for Equality, Rights and Accommodation launched a landmark legal challenge to address the appalling lack of housing in Ontario and across the country. The applicants say the Ontario government has failed to address homelessness and housing over the past decade. This challenge has come because this government continues to drag its feet on affordable housing. Speaker, through you to the minister, will this government oppose the legal challenge? Minister. Well, uh, of course, uh, this matter is uh, going to be before an adjudicative body, and the member will know that uh, it would probably be inappropriate for me to uh, comment on it at that time. She's a long-time member of the House now, and she knows that. However, I do want to say I know the member would want to uh, extol some of the virtues of what's been done by our Parliament lately. I wow. want to give credit to you. $622 million wow. over two years contributed by the province, matched by our federal partners. That is a tremendous amount of money that we're investing in, in affordable housing in this province. And I think we're already seeing in various communities across the province the difference that that is making. We have taken a number of other initiatives as well, rent supplements. We are uh, fixing up the buildings that are there so that people will— Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I assume by his response that means they are opposing the legal challenge by housing activists across the province. And this uh, government's record on housing, by the way, Mr. Speaker, is absolutely terrible. Today, the Ontario Nonprofit Housing Association and the Ontario Region of the Cooperative Housing Association have shown that Average rents increased three times the rate of inflation across the province in 2009. Waiting lists for assisted housing is over 142,000 families throughout Ontario, and one in five Ontario renters are still spending more than half their income on housing. Uh, Mr. Speaker, when will this government release its affordable housing plan, the Long Ballyhooed one, to address this absolutely shameful record? Mr. That's a, uh, not, that's a subjective evaluation, that it is, that using the terminology that you did. I won't repeat it because in politics you don't repeat those charges. Uh, however, I want to say this. that First of all, I remember the rent guidelines under the NDP. I hate to go back into history, but they're the lowest under this government, under the present uh, Liberal administration. The increases are the lowest they've been uh, since we've had rent control in the province of Ontario. They used to be skyrocketing under the NDP. I know you didn't mean to do it, but it happened. It's a fact of life. I want to say as well that units built under the affordable housing program are required to have rents at or below 80 percent of the average market, market rent. Harvey Cooper says recent government initiatives show that the province understands the central role of housing to people's lives and the economy.